Hello everyone, welcome back. This is not the typical video for my channel. Um, not anything to do with diving. It's more of a deeper video on myself. Deeper video from me, I guess I should say. And it's to say, you know, I know right now a lot of parents, mothers, fathers alike, are really struggling. We're being faced with probably one of the most challenging choices we've probably, for the most part, ever been faced with. Many of us have always sent our children to public school. Never thought twice. And COVID happened and we got forced into e-learning. And I'll be the first to admit, I cried. I cried. I was not cut out for it. I didn't think I was cut out for it. There were plenty of days that just were pure hell, pure hell. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with the programs we were using. C programs were crashing. Teachers were little help. Teachers didn't know how to use programs. So it made the experience that much worse. So yeah, at the beginning I flat out, my kids even had bets going. Mom's gonna walk off the job today. How long before our teacher just has a mental breakdown? I think she might crack the, the, the wine open today. And gradually it got better. It got better. The first week or two, <laughs> I may have indulged in a few drinks. And I definitely indulged in a lot of tears. But it did get better. Our school threw the whole pandemic through curveballs at us. We closed a school, we extended a contract, on a superintendent that we've already had really bad dealings with. We've moved the principal that bullied your child over to her school now. She's back with her. Just curveball after curveball after curveball. And so it kind of made our choice. We said, this, is, this isn't this is going to happen. We're not even looking at the whole COVID factor at that point. It was the factor of our ch child's mental health, our m child's mental well-being. School wasn't really an option. Well. School obviously is an option, but not the traditional, not the school that we're used to using, not the school that we usually use. <laughs> homeschool became more and more prevalent. I've always wanted to go into homeschooling with the kids, but I never trusted myself. I never thought I could do it. I still don't fully trust myself. That's why I didn't go the full traditional route of homeschool. We opted for K-12. Um, that involves changes. It involves me not being able to work. It involves me having to be more involved in the schooling. But I do think I'm going to step into traditional homeschool after this year. I need to get more confidence. I lack confidence. I'm going to tell you that now. I do. I lack confidence. You might not believe that, but I do. Um, so that was our choice. COVID is definitely a fair factor because as some of you know, but I don't mention it all the time on the channel. It's not something I dwell on. I've got a special needs son. His immune system is crap. And sending him into the school with the risk factor of COVID, he wouldn't survive. COVID would kill him. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no question in my mind. He is one of the children that would get it and it would kill him, period. I hate saying that, I do. But his immune system can't very easily fight a cold. It's gotten better over the years. It's definitely improved over the years. But a cold still is something that he has to really fight. It doesn't tend to put him in the hospital anymore, but he fights it. And he's got a cough for weeks, months, I'm not going to say years, but it's like a never ending cough. So if a cold does that to him, I don't even want to imagine what COVID would do with the respiratory issues. And he does have asthma. So that is that obviously a factor that we had to put into consideration. But on to the other point. I hear you mamas. I hear you dads. I understand what you're going through. No matter what choice you're making after this whole pandemic has ended, you are going through a struggle right now. You're struggling with the choices. Do we send them back to the school and take that major risk that they could get infected with COVID or that they could be a carrier then of COVID and bring it home to your family and put all of you in jeopardy? It's, it's scary and it's a thought process that we're all thinking. So even if you're sending them to school because you have no choice, you have to work, 
You have to work. I get it. Work is essential. I am blessed. My husband works his butt off so that we can survive without an income from me. So I can be here for the kids. Everyone doesn't have that blessing. I am very blessed by my husband. I, I, I am. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna deny it. But the parents that are having to choose sending their kids to school, many of you I know don't want to. It scares the living hell out of you. But you're choosing it because that's your only option. You don't have a choice. You're forced to do it by the financial end. And money isn't everything, but if you can't pay your bills, your child doesn't have a home or food or whatever they may need. So financial or money may not be the, the main priority or shouldn't be the main priority, but it really has to be for the well-being of your child. So some of you are choosing it because you have to. Some of you are choosing it because you're going, it's a hoax. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not here to fight with anyone. I do believe some of it got blown out of proportion, but I also believe it's dangerous. We all have our beliefs. And then there's the parents that are choosing homeschool. They're choosing traditional homeschool, or they're choosing online homeschool. They're choosing to completely step out of their comfort levels. And that's fearful too, or fearful, scary too. It's scary too, because we are unsure of ourselves. Are we making the right choices? Are we going to be able to supplement the education for our children so that they don't fall behind, so they don't struggle later on in life because of the choices we made? Our children really don't get to make this choice. My children had some input, but I still made a majority of this choice. So even if you're choosing homeschool, it's got, it's, it's, it's fair. It's fair. And I hear you. I understand. At the end of the day, we all have to choose what's best for our families, for ourselves, for our children. What we believe is best. Even if your mom doesn't believe it's best, even if your aunt don't meet, believe it's best, your siblings, it doesn't matter. What you think is best is what you're gonna choose. Trust me, my mom doesn't back me at all. She is pretty angry, honestly, with me right now. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm doing what I think is best for my children. And that's what I should do. Am I right or am I right? It may not be the best choice. I may regret it. But the joy of this is I can get a month into K-12 and go, oh, no, 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 this ain't working. This ain't working. I picked up a drinking habit. My child is not doing the work. And I'm thinking a padded room sounds really, really appealing. I can send them back to traditional school. I can. It's open. It's an option. We can change our minds. It's our child, our choice. Kind of like my body, my choice. Our child, our choice. <laughs> so, do what you think is best. Don't let the fear rule you. If you want to talk, my email is in the about section. If you need someone to talk to, you need someone to bounce ideas off of, if you need someone to vent to because you really want to open that bottle of wine today, <laughs> I'm here. And I'll listen. Because like I said, trust me, I get it. I'm not perfect. I chose homeschool not because I think I can be the best mom ever and I have the best patience ever and i am the pa got the patience of the saint. Nope, definitely not. My children drive me insane. <laughs> All the time. There are many days I think I'm not cut out to be a mom. There's many days I don't think I'm not cut out to be a teacher. We all have those doubts, trust me. We all have those doubts. But we gotta do what's best for us, what's best for our children. Like I said, this was a different video for this channel. But I wanted to bring you guys a little bit into my mind, my thoughts, my life. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good rest of the summer. Hope the decisions are not bothering your mind frame too much. Hope you can come up with the best choice for your family. And remember, I'm here if you need to talk. Catch you on the next one.